In the headlines of VTC Now World, on September 23rd, hundreds of individuals gathered in central London to protest against the decision to ban the American XL bully dog breed. Recent dangerous incidents of American XL bully attacking people were cited by British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak as the reason for the ban. He asserted that this was not merely a matter of poorly trained dogs. However, many of dog lovers seem to disagree. Let's talk about the XL bully. So Ellie Keegan a from Bromsgrove in Birmingham bully, is urging people not to bully her bully, as basis. she says okay. her American What's XL really bully named rare, Costa like dog, is a loving dog. Not all dog is the same. Any dog has got it in them to be dangerous, to attack, but there are responsible owners out there, especially responsible owners that own bully breeds. And the whole reason I made my TikTok account was to kind of like end the stigma on bully breeds and to show their side, their loving side, their loving, loyal family orientated dogs. Um, they are not out there to be, to be attacking dogs, animals, people. That is just not what they're like. But unfortunately, there are irresponsible owners who own this breed because they like the way that they look. Many other owners of XL bully dogs assembled at Parliament Square passionately voicing their plea to protect our bullies while expressing their discontent with the government's actions. They carried signs with messages like Don't target our breed, blame the owner, not the breed, and safeguard our bullies. Later, the protesters marched towards Downing Street, the location of the Prime Minister's office, demanding the resignation of Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. One of the XL bully dog owners, Joanne, lamented how the ban had shattered many families' hearts. She emphasized that instead of an outright ban, the government could have implemented regulations to address the issue. Joanne argued that the focus should be on holding irresponsible owners accountable for their dog's behavior rather than banning the entire breed. She remarked, it's been incredibly distressing and numerous people have been in tears and anguish this week. The ban is planned to be enacted under the 1991 Dangerous Dogs Act, which restricts or prohibits specific dog breeds and establishes legal consequences for allowing any dog, regardless of breed, to be dangerously out of control. Currently, four types of dogs Pitbull Terriers, Japanese Tosas, Dogo Argentinos, and Fila Brasileros are already banned under this act. According to campaign group Bully Watch, which advocates for a ban on selling and breeding large XL bully dogs, the breed was responsible for more than half of all fatal dog attacks in Britain last year. The campaign group said XL bully dogs were originally bred from American pit bull terriers and American Staffordshire terriers and first appeared in the UK around 2014 or 2015, with the numbers growing rapidly in recent years. XL bully dogs have a stocky, muscular appearance and a heavier bone structure than pit bulls. A number of British animal welfare charities, including the RSPCA, said that banning specific dog breeds is not the solution. In a joint statement, they instead blamed irresponsible breeding, rearing and ownership and said the government should instead focus on dog control regulations and on promoting responsible dog ownership and training.